right? So if you love VSL2 like I do, and you also love working with JetBrains software, whether that be PyCharm, WebStorm, PHP Storm, IntelliJ, the Rider for C Sharp, and so on, I'm going to show you a very nice way to work with them while having VSL2 without any performance negatives. The performance hits are when using VSL2 and then indexing is slow and then everything else causes problems. I'm going to help you today and I'm going to show you what I use and how I work with JetBrains software inside VSL. So this is very a very good solution because I saw many solutions on Stack Overflow on GitHub where people will install any Jet, the JetBrains software inside VSL and then run it from there, but it has these ugly bars at the top. And personally, I love aesthetics. So we're going to have a performance solution and an aesthetic solution. So what you have to do is just install JetBrains toolbox, install the given ID that you want, PyCharm, WebStorm, PHP Storm, whatever. In this case, it's PHP Storm install it and run it. And the natural thing that you will most likely do and what caused you problems is connecting to VSL with this. So you're using VSL here and you just connect with it. That's the problem. That's a big no that you should avoid. What you should do is connect with the SSH connection because essentially we can connect with SSH in our VSL. So you can already see I have some connections here. And for this, for the purposes of this video, we're gonna remove everything. So we're going to say this arrow here, connect to host or new project. I think it's going to be the same. Yeah, it's going to be the same. So we have the connect to SSH here, this prompt. What you're going to do is enter your username. If you don't know what your username is, you're going to open your VSL here and you're going to say, who am I? And you see when I say, who am I? It says 10. So we're going to say 10. And the host is, you should know it's locally. It's the same on your Windows PC and on your VSL. It's called localhost and it's on port 22. Port 22 is used for SSH connections. Now you're going to say check connection and continue. And it's going to prompt you for your password. You're going to say save permanently because this if you're working on your PC at home or somewhere that you know that it's safe, just save permanently. You don't need to do anything else. Now you enter your password and you press authenticate. I'm going to copy this because it might prompt you for your password multiple times because there's this JetBrains gateway and so on. So we have the ID version and you want to specify the project directory. So let's open this and you can see we're in our home, we're in our home directory and then the username 10. And I'm looking for my, yeah, there you go, dev. And then I say YouTube and then I'm gonna say Django. Oh, this is PHP. No, actually I'm gonna say Django. I wanna see what uh, PHP Storm does when I open a Python project, okay? And I say start ID and connect. And this is gonna give you the best of both worlds. You can actually connect with it. Again, it asks me for a password. I'm gonna say, type in my password. It might prompt you multiple times because it has to run JetRain's gateway. You don't have to know the details. What you have to know is that you're gonna be enjoying performance and aesthetics at the same time. So you connect with your SSH and you're gonna have the connections here. As you can see, projects will appear after the first connection and it's opening. And you can see PHP Storm opened, the project opened and we have, oh, this is an empty project. It's kind of uh, not the point of showing that, but let's open another project then. Let's, let's see what we can do. So we say open, again, we have the same thing. 10, development, YouTube, uh, let's say Laravel prod, Okay, this window. And it's gonna open, see, it's like native. It's it's really nice, it's like native. It's gonna open Laravel prod. It's the previous video that I made on Docker environment for production with Laravel. And you can see it's really fast. When I open it, look, it's, it's blazing. It's blazing fast. With VSL2 connection, it will be slow. You will have problems typing. The IntelliSense would be really slow to open up and analyze everything. And this is, as you can see, blazing fast. So this is a very simple thing to do. You have everything set up and then in your remote development, you go to SSH and you're gonna have projects once you do this. If again, you see some bugs because this is still, still in beta, as you can see, it's not opening any, anything here. I'm gonna close this. You can just say authenticate. You can enter your password. Again, I'm not sure why it's asking for passwords this many times. Save permanently, authenticate. And there you go, it's getting your project. It's got everything that uh, you opened and you can see the last time that you open it. So please, 
If you want performance and you want to work with VSL, do not use the VSL option. It's horrible. Use the SSH option. You're going to save so much time and you're going to work effic efficiently with this. And until next time, bye.